Welcome to Grow and Give, a modern victory garden project from Colorado State University Extension. We're here to help you learn to grow food for yourself, your family, your neighbors, and your community. Share the harvest, keep it local. Pests of the vegetable garden, striped and spotted cucumber beetles. Cucumber beetles have steadily expanded their range, so now they are broadly distributed from south to north in Colorado, and they are a pest of our vegetable gardens. But they're easily seen on the plants. They are about a quarter of an inch long in size and a yellow-green color. They can have either these black spots or these black stripes on their back wings, as you can see here in this photograph. They particularly like any of the plants in the cucurbit group, which means they prefer melons, cucumbers, squashes, but they also like beans and also corn, so much so that a nickname for them is the southern corn rootworm. They cause a bit of damage in several ways. First of all, their feeding damage is pretty severe but they also interfere with pollination because they gather in large groups within the flowers themselves. So pollinators don't have access to the plant parts, the stigma or the style in order to transfer pollen. Beyond this, they're also vectoring bacterial wilt or mosaic virus. They do this through feeding injury and also defecating out these bacteria or virus which is in their feces. As they're making these tearing wounds in the plant and defecating in the same area, these two disease organisms are deposited near an open wound on the plant and they have easy access into it. The bacterial wilt will cause a drooping of the plant that the plant does not recover from. So cucurbits typically will droop during the heat of the summer days, but they will rebound in the cooler evenings and they look fine in the morning. If your plants are not recovering from this sort of thing, you need to look more closely at them so that you can tell if it's been caused by insect feeding or some kind of disease organism. The adults when they feed can do some pretty severe damage. First of all, they'll attack the plant in high numbers. And as you can see here, their feeding patterns can be quite savage. They'll be skeletonizing the leaves and also feeding on some of the stem. Compounding this problem is that the females lay their eggs in soil cracks. And when the eggs hatch, the larvae attack the plant from below by feeding on the root system of the plant. Having such heavy feeding both above and below causes tremendous stress on these plants. And in the high heat of Colorado, those plants can easily crash. There are several generations produced each season. And so this is a persistent pressure that will increase in numbers in our gardens. Control of the cucumber beetles can be a little bit challenging. The first thing you can consider is meticulous garden cleanup. This is a mantra for all of us every single year to try and remove and limit the amount of pests that will overwinter and become a problem again next year. These adults will find hiding places in the garden if we have a lot of standing debris or the dead and down leaves. So meticulous cleanup of the garden is important. You can also use their behavior against them and put a nice thick layer of mulch in and around the plants themselves. A thick layer of mulch really interferes with the female's ability to lay their eggs in the soil cracks. Finally, you could try physical exclusion through a floating row cover. Floating row covers are a light fabric it's a reme fabric that you can see here in the photograph, and it allows sunlight and a little bit of water to come through. Most importantly, it prevents insect pests from being able to get inside, but there are some limitations. Floating row covers can really heat up the plants and the ground underneath it, so you have to be careful in the high temperatures of Colorado summers 
to make sure it's not getting too hot underneath the row cover. Second, the row cover will provide a nice tent of protection if insects are already under there before you put it on. So you need to make sure that no insect pest really had a toehold there the previous season if you put it on early or at the time that you apply it. Finally, floating row covers exclude all types of insects, including pollinators. And our cucurbits need pollinators in order to produce fruit, which is the squash or the melons that we're after. So the floating row covers would have to be lift once the plants start producing those females. And this could allow one of the generations of cucumber beetles to move in. Part of the problem with cucumber beetles is that they can interfere with pollination. So if you can try to delay their entrance onto the plant, at least until the plant is producing female flowers, it still can be a big help to controlling this particular pest. Learn more, grow more. Contact your local CSU Extension office.